because I don't have wine. Dang. I'm going to get some wine. Get a glass of wine. wine. Oh, <laughs> next, okay. Next week. I'll get wine next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here goes Garner. People on your cat. Broadcasting live from sunny California, it's 10 Minutes in Tinseltown with Ms. Meliz, a.k.a. Melissa Reyes. And now, from the left corner, your host, Melissa Reyes. <laughs> I love that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Hi, everyone. This is um, 10 Minutes in Tinseltown, and I'm Ms. Meliz, Melissa Reyes, and I have here with me uh, Rebecca Forstat Orkowski. Yeah. Did I get that I, right? Yeah. I mean, it's normally, <laughs> I, I have too many names. <laughs> Sorry. What was that? That was the next song. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll start that one out. I have a name for everything, so it's, it gets kind of confusing sometimes. She's um, Rebecca has a lot of hats. She's had a really fantastic career and done a lot of interesting things that we're going to talk about tonight. And um, so I just know her as Rebecca. And um, we officially met, or the first time we met was in Las Vegas. Yeah. NMX, yeah, and then NMX. Yeah, NMX. We're at a, we, we realized we lived really close to each other. Yeah, that was kind of weird. We both came uh, live in the valley in uh, Los Angeles, and we got to talking, and she was really nice. And then later, I found out that she's a star, she's a total superstar. And my <laughs> husband went all fan girl, fan fanboy on her. Oh, when don't he found tell him out. He, he told him he was a fan girl. Oh, not a fan girl. He was a fanboy. <laughs> he was a super fan. He got all excited because. Um, uh, Rebecca is the voice of Lynn Min May from Robotech, which was his favorite show growing up, and they just had their 30 year anniversary. Nice. Oh, wow. So we're it's kind of scary. It's scary. <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, her famous, her, her, you know, it was a very famous character, and I guess Robotech was kind of like um, what Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z is now to kids. It was huge. That was the anime that he watched and he just loved all the characters and that, and she was his favorite. So when I met her, that, like for a long time, he called Rebecca Linman May um, <laughs> until finally he met her. And then of course she's Rebecca. But, I had a different aww. name for that too, actually. <laughs> Reba West. Yeah. yeah. Reba was, West. I'm just, um, I think I'm schizophrenic. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, I invented Ms. Meliz when I started blogging. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's nice to have a pers persona or a name to go with some something that you're doing. And especially when you're coming out of like your everyday. Like right. if I were just Melissa in my everyday, I would be talking about you know, uh, totally different things, but Ms. <laughs> Meliz on Little Hollywood, it's fun. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Nice. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> so um, I'd like to introduce everybody to Margaret. We call her Marge. Uh, what do you like it to be called, Margaret? Margaret? Um, Marg. Margaret. Marg. Marg, yeah. a hard arg. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so Marge, Marg, and is it Marg's world? Yes. Or, okay, so, so Marg Absolutely. has a... Marg's World blog and podcast, and she's on Periscope. She's a big scoper. And so she is our co my co-host for tonight. And she will be, um, unfortunately, you on Meerkat can't see her or hear her. You can only see me and Rebecca. But on <laughs> Blab, you will be able to see Margaret and, uh, and Marg. And um, she's going to be uh, running the room. She's going to be monitoring the in, the questions and calling people in and yes. um, helping me out. Yeah. That's so, very cool. Yay. And then you might want to um, <laughs> type in, if it's easier for you to type in while we're talking, if people come in the room, just welcome them. That would be a big help. <laughs> and I know. I know Mark from um, the Entertainment New Media Network conference two years in a yes. row. And I just won tickets I to heard. the third year. Yeah. That's really I'm exciting. Like, oh my God. I know. I'm such a big winner. Ooh, I'm so she's a big tweeter. That's why. Right. I know. Yeah. I have to thank I have to thank Triber for that for the most part. But man, I did do a lot of tweeting from that conference. So well, um, we had fun really in nice that fun. conference. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot was of fun. A lot that of fun. That was like it. three conferences rolled into one, I think. We <laughs> had the field trip day. We had the um, uh, the Hollywood night, you know, and then we had the full, you know, um, 
the Starline tour. Starline tour. Oh my that, God, we had so much fun. fun. Yeah. It was a lot that of fun. fun. So you're going to have to yeah. check it out on MsMeliz.com. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, so Rebecca, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us about, about who you are and um, okay. what you're up to these days. Well, Start okay, anywhere, I'm Rebecca really. Forstadt. <laughs> Olkowski, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, I've been a voice actor in Los Angeles for over 35 years, and I am best known for my part in Robotech. If, if people are old enough to remember it, I actually get people that say, oh, I grew, you know, I was a, I, my grandfather introduced me to Robotech, <laughs> so it's a little scary, but, um, but Robotech was a, an anime and it was one of the first animes that kind of really brought anime into onto TV and, and became really popular. When, when I was growing up, there were a couple of animes that were on TV. There was Speed Racer and Kimba the White Lion. And, and then they kind of went away. And, you know, it, and what an anime is, is it was originally done in Japanese. So it was a Japanese cartoon. And what we've done is we've gone in and we've done the English version of it. So we actually have to lip sync everything um, in it. And oh, wow. So I've been doing this for so long. I've done hundreds of projects. Um, I have a lot of fans. I've uh, all over the world, actually. I have people that pop up on Facebook from like Chile and, you know, <laughs> different places like that. Um, occasionally, Fan I get, boys. <laughs> yeah, occasionally I do conventions. I just recently came back from Phoenix where we did a... 30 year anniversary and then we did one in Pasadena just a couple weeks ago mm, and nice. so that was a lot of fun <laughs> and then I was like they're signing autographs and all this stuff and then then I go back to my normal life oh. so <laughs> I, I did her normal life is pretty exciting too though yeah. I mean, she's well, got a podcast I do I just I started a, a podcast about a year ago called two boomer broads and it's on iTunes and Stitcher it's kind of more of a traditional podcast and uh not a, we haven't done blab and all that stuff, uh, mainly because I like to edit it all, <laughs> all the bad stuff out. And, um, and then I've been a blogger since 2008. And uh, right now I have a blog called babyboomster.com and it's all about food, wellness, lifestyle and travel. So which is, which is why we met at um, uh, also an entertainment new media network conference because they've got travel and Hollywood lifestyles component. It's been uh, really great and yeah. great to connect with people. So um, that's three things because I'm also in the group um, Women of Midlife. Oh, right. They welcomed me in. I'm really, happy, really happy to be there <laughs> and they're wonderful people. And Rebecca's in that group too, which has been so amazing to connect on so many levels. And now here she is in my studio. Yeah. And I live right down the street from it's her, so which exciting. is really nice. I, I, I have yucky internet where I live cause I live up in the Hills. And so I had to come down here cause she's got the good internet mm -hmm. over here. <laughs> oh, oh look, we have somebody says he loved Robotech. Yeah, hi Henry. Yeah. We have a Robotech fan in Flab. Henry. Yeah. So cool. uh, do you have any questions for uh Lin Min May? <laughs> <laughs> now the Lin Min May character was um a singer, right? Yeah. So she was she a, 16... to be a pop star. Right. I was a rock star, <laughs> yeah. Cool? I was a sixteen year old girl who um whose singing voice saved the world. <laughs> Sweet. And I had to fake it, but I did. I did. <laughs> so I somehow managed to get through it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. And that's pretty awesome. It, you know, I think it's so exciting that those things are still really popular mm -hmm. because right. it gives you a chance to just continue with that fun time in your life. Well, it keeps going on and there's yeah. there's all kinds of projects. Um, they haven't been that busy lately. A lot of younger people have come in and, you know, they kind of took over some of the stuff we, we were doing. But uh there's always stuff going on. There's I do video games. Um, I've done commercials and background voices in films and also on camera acting in theater. So, you know, it's just been, I, I just kind of go from different lives. I, I, I reincarnate every few years, <laughs> I think, <laughs> which a lot of us do. So um, I could just jump into the questions. I guess I, I know you like to travel. Where have you been traveling? I, do. I love traveling. Actually, I'm going to Cabo this weekend. Oh, my but, gosh. Uh, I, a lot. I've been to Europe a couple of times. I I went on a river cruise. Through, well, I went to Poland, and then we went from Budapest to Prague. And then last year, we went to Italy and spent three weeks there. And then we went on the, the Queen Elizabeth. 
and went up the Mediterranean to Southampton. So I, I love to do that. And that's why I started writing about it in my blog, because I want to do more. <laughs> that's so cool. So yeah. what, what was your favorite place that you went to during that? Oh, gosh, it's so hard. to. Do you have a I mean, I loved Spain a lot. That was the first place. Actually, I went to Spain for three weeks uh, several years ago. Uh, and Italy, I just love. I, I wish I was there right now. I just <laughs> I could be there forever. It's so neat. It's what would we be doing? Place. What would we be doing right Eating. now? Eating and drinking wine. <laughs> Eating oh, and yeah. drinking wine, yeah. And oh. Looking at beautiful things. Mm. <laughs> and people. And people. Absolutely. I love it. Henry is freaking out, he says. Or uh, he's geeking out. He's geeking out. Thank you, Henry. This is so cool. Isn't this cool, Henry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, what's your favorite episode or what is your favorite memory of the Robotech? Yeah. And, I you, know that. and Henry, have you gone to any um, um, comic cons or um, cosplay events where you might have seen um, Robotech characters recently? I've been to SDCC. Is that one? Oh, San seen? Diego Comic Con. Oh, cool. That's Diego. the biggie, right? Yeah. That's the biggie? Yeah. I so. went there a long time ago when Robotech first came out and – the Comic-Con, I mean, to me, it seemed like it was huge, but apparently at that time, that was in the early 80s, huh. it, it was minuscule compared to the way it is uh, now. Yeah. 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 Now it's huge. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, see them everywhere there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. Um, so, you know, um, Rebecca, when you go to those conferences, do you sign Rebe uh, Reba West? Your name? No, or I've started signing name? it with my real name. I, I had a name. I had to switch to a kind of fake name <laughs> at the time because at the time we were doing it, we didn't really have a, well, the Screen Actors Guild didn't really know what to do with us. We were kind of this weird little genre and right. they didn't really have a wasn't invented yet. yeah we didn't, <laughs> we didn't know what was going to happen with robotech most of the stuff that we had been doing prior to that just kind of went out into the airwaves and we never knew where they went and mm. robotech just suddenly became super popular because it went on television mm. and um so then you know we kind of had to work out something so we did have a contract at the screen actors guild and you know yeah, I was Reba yeah, West. Yes, was. I was. <laughs> that was, I still am sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> On those rare occasions. You know, it just depends. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. And there um, will be a Robotech film. Actually, somebody was asked, or Henry was asking. Um, yeah. For a while, Toby McGuire actually wanted to make this Robotech film. And now it's been. I think it's with Sony now, but it is going to be coming out a live action film of Robotech. Oh, We're all hoping that we'll have some kind of small part, like I'll be a prostitute in a bar, or, you know, somebody, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. You know, that'd be awesome. Or I'm bad, really I'm too happy. old to be a prostitute. Maybe in the future, I don't know. What, what, what time period was it set? Was it the future or was it just the present for that time? I was getting It confused. was in the future, yeah. It was the future. And you were Henry would know, world. I don't know. <laughs> I know, really. Lita would know too. You know, and at the time when I was doing it, I it was a job, as you know, it was an acting job, and so we didn't know that much about the stories of, of what was going on. Nowadays, right. a lot of the actors that are coming in, the younger actors, were actually fans, so they know a lot about the oh, stories. About you know, the backstory. Oh, nice. I guess it was a gig. <laughs> so that's nice. In fact, mm -hmm. um, for a while, I was even working with Brian Cranston. Before he became really famous, he he was doing anime stuff with us mm -hmm. for a while. He might have been on Robotech. I don't know. <laughs> it's well, pretty cool. That that brings me to like, what are some of the current projects that we might recognize from TV that you've been on? I um, mean, well, I've done a lot of more, I guess, more recent animes. I was in Code Geass as Nunnally, which was popular with a lot of people. The Ghost in the Shell as one of the Tachikoma which is kind of like this little machine. I was this funny little machine. Um, I, w I was in another show called Metropolis, which was kind of a takeoff on the 1920s film, but it was beautiful. It was so beautifully done. It was one of the most beautiful animes I'd ever done. And um, let's see, what else was I? I was in so That's many so things. Cool. I have to look myself up on the IMDb because I really – can't remember a lot of the things oh, that I did. There but. is an echo. That's Tentimuya. awkward. Is anybody else experiencing an echo from us when we talk? 
That's awkward. I hate when that happens. Oh, wow, this is so weird. So, um, no scribbling. No, bandits, yeah, there isn't one. So we're maybe. pretty good. Okay. Well, you know, I hope it's not because Ashley is our is our next guest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we have Ashley on next, and then. Um, uh, <laughs> Suzette. Suzette. <laughs> I wanted to say Valle. That's her last name. <laughs> so wine. Suzette. Yeah, really, it's the wine. So Suzette um, is coming on. So they're both in the room right now. And Ashley is from the, um, or she's currently in a competition on the Food Network. Cool. And she just made it to the finals on TV with the Food Network's um, Halloween Bake, or baking challenge. That's exciting. Yeah. And uh, Suzette yeah. just came out with her new book. Um, so it's very exciting to have you all here. Suzette's book is this uh, 101 movies to see um, to see before you grow up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so we're really gonna check cool. off all these movies. It's a really cute book. So these are my um the uh, we're gonna have equal time for each person. So right now it's Rebecca's time. So um, you know, I was watching an interview that I saw on you know Google when I Googled you, um, <laughs> from someone who had um who was a big a big anime fan and he uh -huh. knew like every single show that you'd been on, and he was like, So, you know basically just asking you what was it like when you were in this and what was it like <laughs> when you were in that and what was what did you like about this and what did you like about that well to be perfectly honest since i know you and and met you through the blogging world i and i'm not i'm not going to lie and pretend like i'm a big robotech That's or okay. a fan <laughs> so i didn't commit myself to learning how to say those names of those those shows or anything but um but i just think it's like i want you to talk about it because i know that you have some big fans and and that are out there and they want to hear so even henry says he's a closet anime fan <laughs> i can't even say on that all i know about is robotech because i've been married to somebody who like, literally that was his favorite show when he was um you know for like 15 years and uh, up until when we were you know started dating so um but you know, you've done a lot of other things. Oh, a lot. I, my IMDb has um, like almost a hundred credits on it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there was. I I did some on camera parts also <laughs> a long time ago. I did. I was a starred in two movies. Uh, one was with Ruth Gordon and Laura Branigan called Mugsy's Girls, Ooh. and I played a um, kind of a nerd in a sorority, and she was the house mother, um, Ruth Gordon. And um, Laura Branigan was like my best friend uh -huh. in it, and it was a really silly movie, but it was it was a lot of fun. We were in Las Vegas for several weeks, and um, and then we filmed part of it in L.A. And then I did another film called Round Numbers with Kate Mulgrew and Samantha Egger, and I was uh, I was a receptionist in a health spa, but it was kind of all the way all through the the film, so. So that was a lot of fun too. How fun! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you that's really, when I was skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> you really light up when you talk about your work in um, the industry. I think that's neat because we've uh, we've talked about a lot of different things that you've done, and with the travel and the blogging and the writing about, um, you know the issues that we face getting older mm -hmm. and I know that you're passionate about those things but when you talk about acting and you talk about your voiceover days and your and the work that you've done in the industry you just get so like really your eyes just sparkle oh. it's so well, neat you know acting's fun it's just it's a fun thing to do but like you said we do reinvent ourselves sometimes we just have to I you know part of the what happened to me was um my husband passed away in 2001 and left me with two kids. So I had to do other stuff besides right. just act because you can't always, you know, depend on it, you know? So, so I just, you know, I ended up going in a lot of different directions and somehow I ended up as a blogger and I love it because you can do it from anywhere and you can, you can create all these characters. You can do your own podcasts. You can, you know, you could, you don't, you're not really dependent so much on people hiring you or, mm -hmm. or working on a project that maybe you don't like. Because I have to say there, there have been some projects that I've had to turn down because they were just violent or, you know, mm. when you see people shooting up movie theaters and you think, well, oh gosh, I hope I'm not contributing to that. You, right. You know, at a certain point you want to be a little bit fussier about what you're doing. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate the fact that you're, um, you know, that you have those values and that you are 
particular about what you choose to do. It's important that, that you tell people that because I think that we should all, you know, be more con conscientious of, of the danger, especially with gun violence and yeah. today. So Henry asks, how did you train your voice? Um, uh, oh, and he also gave you a little virtual hug. That he's sorry when you lost your husband. Thank, and, oh, thank you. Know. you. <laughs> um, well, my voice, you mean my singing voice or just my regular voice? Because my voice is just my voice. It's its really funny. I, I almost always get cast just playing my own voice. It, it, sometimes it's a little bit younger. Sometimes I might do a voice voice, but it's pretty much my voice. It, my voice sort of is a real natural kid's voice. In, rather than a lot of adults who play kids and they have kind of a cartoony voice, my voice could, I, I can fake, you know, like on the telephone, like a real kid and people yeah. think I'm a real kid and I can get rid of a lot of, you know, telephone solicitors that way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom thought home right now. Yeah, mommy's at home right now. <laughs> but, but my singing in Robotech, I did have to work on that because I wasn't a singer turned actress. I was an actress that got asked to sing. So <laughs> I'd sung a little but not not like, you know, I wasn't like a trained singer. Right, so right. I really had to work hard on that. And I had a really wonderful composer that that I worked with who did the music for Robotech. He was this Italian guy and I just loved him. And, you know, he'd always feed me and give me wine and all <laughs> kinds of stuff. So we Sing had so much song. fun. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds so cool. He says you did such a good job on Rubber Tag. You got lots of thumbs up. Oh, what are your you. memories from working on Akira? <laughs> What's that one? You know, I, don't, I, I think I played kind of a small part on Akira. Um, I did all background voices and I... You know, I can't remember. I can't remember what part I played on Akira. To tell you the truth, I remember it, but I just don't. Uh, I don't remember it as well as some of the other ones. What did you like about Akira, Henry? That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah. So sometimes people start looking things up and then they ask questions. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm so out of left field. But it's pretty cool. And um, okay, Mark. Mar oh, it was groundbreaking. You're right. It was. Why was, was a lot it groundbreaking? Of them. What was groundbreaking? Well, you know, a lot of those things were things that people didn't normally see on television um, as far as cartoons. Right. As yeah. Like for instance on Robotech, they they killed a couple of characters. They had a um biracial relationship. They they had a lot of different things that you know mm. you don't normally see. And then there's a lot of things that they have to cut out for the American audiences too, just because if it's going to be on television, they they tend to have more nudity and, you know, kind of uh, a lot of different things going well, on. Lynn Min May was pretty sexy. Yeah, she, had a shower, she, yeah, she had a shower scene that uh, I think <laughs> oh part my. of it got cut out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, wow. what's really funny is I, I'd worked on a show called Digimon that was on television Ooh, for a long time. And uh, I did, actually was writing a lot of those oh, episodes. Really? And there was so much stuff we had to change because it would go through all the sensors and everything. Mm. And it was pretty fun. Funny, actually, I didn't realize that you were involved with Digimon. I remember that one too. Right, yeah. I that's, remember that one. I guess so yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, I wanted to ask you. Um, you know, I've been doing ten minutes in Tinseltown for over a year now, and I got tired of my own questions. So, mm -hmm. uh, since I work at a middle school, I came across this um, list, and it's it, I caught my eye because it was finding your passion, which is what mm -hmm. my blog is about. So these are questions that middle school kids answer. Okay. Okay. Which would be surprising. But, um, so, uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid now, I, oh, okay. So when I was a kid, now I always dream of blank. That's kind of a weird way to ask that. Why, why am I not mm -hmm. getting the English language here? <laughs> I think it was just the way it said. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you always dream of? What did you always dream of when you were a kid? Um, for a while, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Um, I wanted to be a Playboy bunny. Uh, <laughs> I, I, That's awesome. I was actually really Playboy shy. Marine biologist bunny. I know. I was actually yeah. really shy, and I still am, and it's just to some degree. But you know, I, I think I, ha I had an acting bug, even though uh, I think my my brothers and sisters were better than me, but. <laughs> Did they act too? Were they in anything? That really no, happened? not really. No, My just... dad actually did some little theater in Dallas right after the war, and his director was this starving actor named 
Aaron Spelling. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. So he kind of had that. He, he ended up being a salesman, but I think he always wanted to be an actor. And, mm -hmm. and then my grandmother was in vaudeville. Oh, neat. So she, so did she was a singer dancer. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you dream of now? I dream of uh, traveling Traveling, traveling, and traveling, traveling, and traveling, and traveling so far. I love that. I just love nice it. dream. Yeah, yeah I mean, just one. you know, any way I can get there, it's cool. And sometimes I get to go on conventions. So yeah, you know, yeah, cool. then you can write it off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Perfect. I can't pass up a book or movie about. You know, I don't. I wish I could say I read a lot. I I don't so much anymore. I read the internet. All yeah. The time, so yeah. Um, so what kind of blogs do you like? To mo read? Movies. I would. I like kind of really stories. A lot of times about women that actually have a story. I I don't like action films that much. I fall asleep in them. So. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my eyes covered in some of them. Yeah. yeah. So, um, if anything has Hugh Grant in it, then yeah, that's cool. Oh gosh, I love those movies. <laughs> if I were to ditch school for a week, I'd spend the time blank. <laughs> you you know, know, I was such a goody two shoes. I never did school. <laughs> I was like, never. I, no, I was just a real. I was. Well, I was I lived ridiculous. Too close to the beach to not skip school on. I was close day. to the beach. I was near Newport Beach. Oh actually. my gosh. So. Um, most people don't know this about me, but I really enjoy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, turn your head. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can say that. Uh, no, uh, no, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting any, but I like it. Okay, well, beyond that. Okay, like okay um, I'm the go-to person when my friends need help with. The computer, <laughs> like with their website. I, I became this geek and started setting up websites for people. And now I can't stop. Now I'm like going, God, I, I want to get rid of, I want to just do my own thing. But all these people keep asking me to do stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, that, if anybody needs a job, that is a really good one. So seriously, yeah. folks, um, Rebecca does have a, like a consulting business where she does help people set up their websites and with their computers. Yeah, and stuff. I and I don't know. that's another incarnation. Geek. Yeah, yeah. Geek. I, I had no clue I was certified a geek. geek. I'm, yeah. you know. Yeah. But anyway, okay. So it's a, it's almost six thirty. So we've been going for thirty minutes. I thought maybe we'd take a little break and catch my breath. And Mark, why don't you yes. um, hold up the top with the room for a minute? And okay. then um, I'm going to um, talk amongst yourself. Yeah, talk amongst yourself. I'm going to get a couple of things ready to talk about. <laughs> okay. So take it away. Oh, Ashley wants to get in. Okay, come on in, Ashley. Maybe she has a question or she just hey. wants to try it out. Hey, there she is. Hey. Okay, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I could I could help Margaret. Okay, cool. Yay. Good talk. Good to okay, so, um, I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I well, I can't come on Blab because I have crappy computer. Uh, I mean, not cra uh, crappy internet. <laughs> <laughs> I live in LA and have crappy internet. I don't know how that's possible, but it I is. I, I, I live up in the that's hills. That's not good. I yeah, know, I no. Especially if you're designing sites for people, you. Oh, it's, need. Yeah. it's so frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to take a moment and say hi to everybody on um, Meerkat. So about 70 people come through. There's nine here now. Wow. Yeah. Nice boy liked this. Thanks, nice boy. Lee restreamed and liked this. Thanks, Lee. Um, Lee's my um, resident. Oh, here's Raquel. She wants to come in. Let me let her in. Lee is my um, animal expert from San Diego, My one of my favorite oh, Meerkatters. Nice. And then <laughs> Joe is here. So welcome to... Um, 10 minutes in Tinseltown and with my guest here in studio, Rebecca Forstat Okowski, also known as Reba West from Robotech. <laughs> and um, I, know. I gotta do something about this name thing. I know. I know she got so many names. I think I should just come by Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca. Just Rebecca. Play, oh, just Rebecca. J P R. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, I wanted to ask everyone if they take a moment to go to my website, MsMeliz.com, and you won't. I don't think you'll come out of blab if you try it right now. And it's my well, just like my name, MsMeliz.com, and click on my little. Um, my little ad, I have this ad that I get help. I get like 
pennies if you click on it. I'm going to look Ooh, at it right now. Cool. I know. And it's new. And I'm not, and I want to see if it actually works. Which so, one? Okay. So it's in the sidebar. Oh, look, there's Ashley. <laughs> it's popping up right now. So it's, it's in the sidebar. You got to scroll down. There's my picture. And then I know you can't see what I'm seeing unless you're actually looking at it too. There's Mindy. Okay, so it should be, it's going to pop up, it's going to come up right above the Amazon ad. Amazon was faster. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's a dog food ad. Does anybody see it? Oh, I'm come on. This Amazon. is trial. I know. I have so much stuff. It does take a long time to load, but I just read a great blog with tips on how to make your, your page load faster, so that's what my project is for this weekend. <laughs> well, it loaded great. It did? It's all okay. up? Yeah, no, yeah, your site's all up. It loaded great. I just was having a hard time finding that ad. So oh, the one okay. the, it should oh, okay, be the one right above out. Amazon for me is the... Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, the Adobe oh, Flash widget play something. It's, yeah, no, it's way above that. Actually, it's it's above okay. the fold. It's next to Mindy. Oh, it's right under the social media buttons. It's just like the last thing to talking. load. Yeah, it's under the social media buttons. So click on it because the neat thing is it won't take you away from my blog. Yeah, so it just opened so up that. like on the top. Isn't that cool? Ooh, okay. and now it's playing music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's probably why. I guess that's why I have you done. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. So that was my little commercial break because I'm trying to incorporate using some type of sponsorship or some type of connection to the blog whenever I'm on here. So, um, I wanted to say hi to Raquel from Organized Island. Raquel, I don't see you. Are you not on camera? Can you hear us? Can you say anything? She's there, but she's not there. Okay, Mark. Yeah, and there was a major echo. Yeah, there was for a minute. And I'm thinking it could have been Raquel with playback mm -hmm. or Ashley. Ashley's good though. She looks good. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm wondering if it's your two mics. Maybe when you face each other, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Can you hear it now? No, now it sounds great. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought we were okay. I think it was. I don't know what it is. It's so hard to pinpoint. We were kind of coming over a little bit, but it sounds great most of the time. Sometimes um, Mark is reading your computer. <laughs> Sometimes when new people come into the room, it throws things off. But, you know, it's just a matter of getting used to it. So, Raquel, I'm going to try muting her and see if that makes a difference. I hear a lot of shuffling. Do you still hear shuffling? My connection is spotty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ladies, you guys are going. Okay, bye, Raquel. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ashley, you're good. So, uh, do you have any questions for Rebecca? Did you know all you that know, stuff about her? We met, and I had no idea that you did all of that. You were, uh, like, so quiet about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I'm, I I'm in my other amazing. incarnation, I guess, at that point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. life I have. <laughs> I, well, when she just asked you, what would people not know about you? And I'm like, all of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I did, yeah, I didn't, didn't really get a chance to, like, share all that stuff, I guess. But Yeah, it's, yeah no, it's... <laughs> It's super cool. You know, one, uh, my uncle has a great deep voice uh -huh. and he always had a voice that was like made to do voiceovers. And I've always had a voice that I can't stand. So <laughs> I, um, I think it's awesome. <laughs> I, I love actually it all. used to hate, hate my voice too, but it worked really? out that, you know, people were looking for kid voices. So it was perfect for that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I mean, my problem is I look like I'm... a woman, but sound like a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I look like a kid or I sound like it's a kid. Confusing. I, I've always struggled with having a young sounding voice, especially because as a executive assistant, I would have to answer the phone and mm -hmm. I wanted to sound professional and people would kind of always think that I'm like the assistant or the, um, you know, the intern or something right. <laughs> or a student from this class answering the phone. So I, I try to deepen it. I've tried to, you know, put on my professional voice, but when you catch me in a real moment, and then the way I talk, I'm always like, yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes, of course, right away, you know, <laughs> so silly. But, um, but I had met, I don't know if you saw the show that I had with, um, 
-hmm. with um what's his name david um lawrence um i think it was at a tan at that point. yeah he's a voiceover actor too and uh so he he really is pushing me to do some voiceover work but he's he has a class so oh right class. oh that's right i remember yeah that. okay gotcha. so, you never know <laughs> i always wanted to to do a voice in a disney movie right Oh, yeah. like the dream. <laughs> well, Disney happen. always hires either celebrities or, or real kids or. Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's a difficult one. Day, when I was young, it was all these unknown people. But now, yeah, yeah. it's celebrity. Mm -hmm. And I need to be famous to be on Dancing with the Stars and <laughs> to be a Disney voiceover actor. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. a good chance that, Ashley, that you could be famous enough to go on Dancing with the Stars. I'd totally go for watching you on that. <laughs> so. I just need to lose the weight. So yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. People I mean, you, first of all, you look great. And second of all, on I think you lose the weight those first couple of weeks and the answer right? the star. Yeah, like, <laughs> be on it until the week one. Get that in like eight weeks of boot camp in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so well, if you don't have questions for Rebecca, I'm gonna go back to my my middle school questions because I love these questions. Um, let's see. If I could star in my how to TV show? What would it be about? How -to <laughs> These are <show>. all hard. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're hard. <laughs> Don't uh, listen, Ashley. I might ask you some of these. <laughs> how to get around the world for free? That would be good. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I actually know somebody who does that. He helps people. I know. Yeah, I know a lot their... of people actually that do that. I did a travel writers workshop right after our last workshop right, right. <laughs> and and they do it all the time yeah yeah and with the points and the the um what do you call it the you accumulate rewards well no they get asked to, to go on press trips oh well yeah there's that yeah there's that. that's no. a fun way to get around my nephew uh actually teaches a seminar on how to use the reward points for free travel and mm -hmm. it really wraps up once you oh. get going so Kind of a neat thing too but so you would do a how to travel for free show yeah as soon as i learn how okay <laughs> that sounds like a plan i'll watch it okay i'm working on it if i were to make a homemade gift it would involve <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm so like not crafty um let's let should we let steve cozart in international speaker actor and acting coach that. is that somebody you know or is this a new it person? would involve chocolate I'll let him know. Only if he does his impression of uh, Sam Neill. Okay. <laughs> so what would you bake? Would you make something? Are you crafty? I'm not crafty. No, I'm really not. I'm like totally not, but I like to eat. So it would have to, it would be something that would have to do with eating. That's good. That's I like good. to eat too much. <laughs> okay, so, so Rebecca, I'm on your IMDB profile just because I was curious. Uh huh. And like, I'm still scrolling. How many things have you done? She's been in a lot. Well, actually, I've done more than what's on there. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> that's not even there. I, I you know, I kind of depend on. I'm literally still scrolling. You have 98 <laughs> credits as an actress. That's insane yeah. and so awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I literally had no idea that I met you when I met you. This is so cool. It kind of amazes me sometimes. <laughs> I'll tell you I, I will say your very first thing that's listed here, Lupin the Third, mm -hmm. uh, was the year I was born. Oh, oh get okay. out of here. I'm well, taking you yeah, off I'm right now. Old. <laughs> <laughs> oh Let's not talk about age now, please. <laughs> You know, I will just say that Ashley Actually, has five when I kids, did that, by the way. She's not that young. I don't know when. I'm not was. that young. She must have been five. When no, no. When that. I did that, it was actually later. But because the show had come out, they they listed it as when the show actually originally came out, but not that makes sense. Uh, not not when, when I actually okay. did it, which That's was probably in the better. 80s or 90s. Yeah. Or, I think it was but in the I, 90s. Yeah, I was going to say, how young were you? Because that's that's been a while. <laughs> well, I've been around for a while, too. <laughs> I've been around for a while. Oh. I have, yes. <laughs> so welcome, Steve. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for having me on. Good. Well, thank you for coming in. What drew yeah. you? What drew you into it? Are you a big Robotech fan? <laughs> Do you He's an actor. He's an actor. I'm a big Tinseltown fan, actually. So. Are you? I hadn't seen you before. Have you been on Ten Minutes in Tinseltown before in the audience? I have not, but I love Tinseltown. In okay, life. you are officially in trouble because I just noticed you've been on Blab for a while and you have not been on 10 Minutes in Tinseltown and I've been here since the beginning. I've been so, here 
every Tuesday he's been, night. He's been leer leering. He's been lurking. You're lurking. It's the time that I have a hard time getting here. So. Okay. <laughs> well, you could go watch the 15 replays. <laughs> but I'm glad to meet you now. I'm glad you're yeah. here. You're welcome to be here. And um, we'd love to hear a little bit more about what you do. And if you have any questions for Rebecca. And while you're thinking about that, I wanted to tell you a little secret. Yes. <laughs> it's not next year. But it goes along with what Ashley was saying, like, wow, how much you've done. Because remember when we went, we were in Hollywood and we had that time to kill and we went to, to eat with about um, Carolyn. Uh -huh. And we're talking, we're walking along Hollywood Boulevard and we're looking for Michelli's and we're trying to decide whether to eat there. And it was like 125 degrees out. Yeah, their air conditioning dying. wasn't working very and well. And we're talking. And, and so I said something in reference to your work and she didn't, she looked at me kind of blankly and I'm like, she's a really big star. Oh, I'm not a big star. Well, Carolyn, do you know star. who she is? <laughs> I'm, big in a, I'm big in a certain genre. <laughs> well, it's big. It is. It's big. And when you don't realize, you know, it's, it's funny because she was just like, what? Well, look her up on Google on your phone right now. <laughs> it was really fun, though. But, you know, it was it, whether you know or not, you're just so down to earth and awesome to oh, hang around. You. We had so much fun. And I was really bummed. I said this on the blog that we had to leave Michelli's because yeah. we had a drink there. Their AC wasn't working too much. And I'm literally not joking when it was probably about 109 outside. Yeah. And it I normally love that hot. place too. We couldn't stay, but no. she started with the stories and you had some amazing um, stories of fun times that you had there mm -hmm. going there after shows and in, you well, know, I did. Theater. Um, I did theater right down the street. Well, tell us about that. Yeah. I yeah yeah. Well, I I did uh, a play. Actually, I've done several plays there, but I did one in particular that was called Ionesco's Tales, and it was I don't know. Like a lot of people don't even know who Ionesco was, but he was a really famous uh, avant-garde uh, playwright uh, from France, and he wrote Rhinoceros and. <laughs> the Ball Soprano and a bunch of different plays like that. But anyway, we were doing this show and I was playing his three-year-old daughter and it was taken from a, a short story and he came to watch it and he wrote us a story while he was there, which is really exciting. Oh, wow. was, yeah, he was, he was in his late eighties at the time. And, you know, it was just really such a privilege to work with somebody that was that famous and just really cool guy too. I just loved him. So. And how old were you at the time? Yeah, yeah. I was 30. 30. Okay. 30 yeah. All right. So you're playing a three year old? Already. Playing, playing a three year old. Yeah. I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's out that's of all the theater awesome. you've done, what's been your favorite? That was my favorite. I won a couple of, um, I won a drama log award at the time that was um, kind of prestigious, I guess, at the time. Sure, and well, that that was just a, a really neat show, and I did a couple other oh, shows nice there familiar. at that theater. I remember sitting in Michelli's with like Tim Robbins and you know different people <laughs> that came to see the show. Yeah, <laughs> so I told you Michelli's makes her light up. She's like, yeah, that was awesome. Well, it's Italian food. <laughs> well, that's right. We were <laughs> talking about a favorite place in Italy. Italy. If you're going to do it, it's going to be Italian, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially in Italy. <laughs> you know okay, so about? we could some fun yeah, comments yeah. in here. Yeah. You know, you're you're doing it like so many of us do it, right? You're you're doing theater, you're doing um It was not, not so much anymore, but I well, was, but you yeah. know, that's what we do, right? We we act and we love to do it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so many people I talk to that come into my studio, what do you want to do? I want to be famous. It's like Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you, your heart breaks because you don't know what does that mean. So I love the fact that you you know, your entire life, you you know, you want to be a, a, in the craft, and you want to do really well at it and inspire yeah. people. Yeah, thank you. I think when we're walking along in Hollywood, you told us about how you got started to begin with. The um, how how I got started? Yeah. Um, you mean like on, like I met somebody on Hollywood Vogue? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> She's well, no, I had I had. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had studied acting. I, I, you know, was did acting in high school, and then I worked at Knott's Berry Farm doing melodramas for like three years, getting tied to the train tracks and all that stuff. <laughs> and at the at the Birdcage Theater, it was really fun. Um, Steve Martin actually started there, and so did uh, Dean Jones. And I, I worked with Lauren Tweez before she did the the Love Boat. Actually, oh, that, was no. that long ago. <laughs> Your cruise director. You're right, but I came to Hollywood because I wanted to be an actor, 
And I was um, I was going to Strasburg on Hollywood Boulevard, and I met a producer in a parking lot, and he he uh, asked me to do a show. Uh, not a, not as an actor, as a wardrobe person. I actually ended up doing a whole mm -hmm. bunch of stuff. So I met, you know, kind of got involved with the film industry. I worked in wardrobe for several years. Uh, I was working on Hill Street Blues and The White Shadow and all these different things doing wardrobe after a while. And then I, I finally decided, I know I want to go and be an actor. That was like, this <laughs> was like really stupid, you know? I was like, yeah, this great job. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so I decided I was going to quit doing wardrobe, even though I had this really steady job. And um, and then I got my SAG card from uh, some of the producers on Hill Street Blues and St. Elsewhere. And but I had to prove to them that I was an actor. I couldn't just, you know, just because I worked on the show, they weren't going to give me that. So that helped me along. And then I started doing some film work and theater and, you know, more stuff in town. And and then I ended up doing voiceovers because I I was reading the drama log one day and they were looking for kids voices for for these anime shows and that's how I started in with that and then I just I started working there and never stopped and the rest <laughs> is history folks yeah <laughs> I've been doing that forever and what were you saying 98 entries on INDB yeah is that what you said? yeah well just that's just under an actress she has other credits as well like writing yes. and stuff yeah yeah that's just yeah so incredible <laughs> well <laughs> It's a cute picture too, by the way. It's cute, Rebecca. Oh, it's thank you. You really yeah, are. She has, she has credits under costume, under writer, under editorial. So yeah. Yeah, that picture was kind of a freaky thing. I just my boyfriend took it just outside of where we live, and I keep getting all these uh, mashers that keep you know wanting my, you know, they keep <laughs> popping up on Facebook because I think they think I'm, I mean, it's not that old, but it just it. You know, oh. a lot of Photoshop and, you know. <laughs> it's, got little, it's got a little spunk to it, so it's cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I so, like it. So, Steve, we have a few more minutes before before we head over to another room to interview Ashley. Do you have any questions um, while you're here, or do you want to tell us about yourself? Um, I, I don't need to talk about myself, but I do. This is your um, time. It's okay. Yeah, I talk about myself on other people's webs. <laughs> Well, I'm in the San Francisco area, and I do a lot of independent oh. films. I do a lot of commercial, commercial work, a lot of commercial voiceover. Um, so, oh, that's uh, great. The latest claim to fame is working with Eric Roberts last year in a film. Me. Uh, I got third billing under Eric Roberts. Not bad, right? <laughs> that's good. <Yeah. laughs> Horrible flick. Don't, don't, don't see it. It's called Story of Eva. But, <laughs> um, I, what I do is I have a development studio and I help people who in the Bay Area who want to you know, get into what they think is show business mm -hmm. and really treat it like a business. I mean, you're starting a business, you're the brand, you're the product and really truly understand the foundational aspect of that. So I think that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about was, you know, it's so, isn't it true that it's so smart to treat your business, treat you, the talent as a business and a product so that you don't get caught up in this whole struggle. Everyone gets so bitter because they think, here I am, world. Here yeah. I am. Why don't you embrace me? I hate you. And it becomes this awful <laughs> thing. And it's, it's so true. You have to. That's why they call it show business. Right. It is a business and you have to treat your, your, you are a brand and you have to treat yourself like a brand and, you know, promote yourself and market because people, even if you have an agent, they're not going to really be out there doing it. You have to get out there and do stuff and be seen and do shows and showcase yeah. yourself. And you, you just I, have to. What I tell people is the business is doing just fine without us. We have to give it something to buy. Yeah, ah, that's a good one. And, and that's and, true about everything. And then you have to be lucky, too, because there's a lot of great actors out there. I mean, they're wonderful, incredible actors, and they don't get any work just because... You're just not in the right place at the right time, you know. It's just... And there's the, people, there's the concept of the zero and the hero, where you know somewhere in between doesn't matter. But there's so many actors who are making a great living and doing just fine without being quote famous. Right. Yeah, I think that, you, that you, you're seeing a lot of people becoming famous without doing a lot of the work. I mean, you're seeing the Kardashians every day. Kardashians. And, yeah, and they just—I mean, the they're, they're, they're great <laughs> business people. They're great business people, but you know, they're not. It's you wouldn't call them actors. You know, the really. industry embraces them. That's what I mean. The yeah. industry itself 
embraces whatever that brand is, whatever that whatever is valuable to the industry is what is being rewarded, and that mm -hmm. can be at any level. So yeah. Whatever. Well, and I think that's why people are coming out now saying, "I just want to be famous and not I want to do my craft," because yeah. people are famous for just being famous at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I get. They I don't get, see the work. And yeah, the I, I get changed. a lot of people on my voiceover blog that uh, you know they all want to be an actor. They want to be a voice actor. But they don't understand it's a voice actor. Like you have right. to learn how to act. You have to take actor, improv classes or you know, things like that. I got it. You can't just get in front of a mic and and expect to be this, you know. I mean, some some people are, you know, they're lucky. That's what's great about podcasting is there, you know, people can do that, but you, you know, you have to be able to do that work to get work. And sometimes you never know where your voice is going to end up. I mean, I'm the voice of a leapfrog toy out there somewhere. I don't know which one. <laughs> I have no That's idea which cool. voice it was because I auditioned, I won, they used my voice for my audition, and I got paid. Yeah. I have no idea which one it is. <laughs> well, this is so, uh, I'm, we're just getting into this great conversation. And I know I was going to say that. Okay. So before, um, before we go on to the next topic, I wanted to say that that's my son, Julian. Oh, okay. And he has been influenced by his father and oh. his favorite shows, <laughs> Robotech. And so he has a line that he loves, that he would love to hear you say. Oh, gosh, I hope I remember how he said that. <laughs> that's one big tuna fish. Oh. Right. <laughs> so, okay. Are you happy now? All right. This is the first time I have been doing, thank you. Applause, applause. I have been doing this show for over a year. I've interviewed about 50 people and this is the first episode that my family has gotten on. That's what I'm telling you. They really think you're wow. fantastic. And you are. You're fantastic. And look thank at all you. these people. So, um, thank you, Julian. That was really cute. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to go watch that episode now. What did you say? Yeah, you, know, you know, I I remember that, but I don't remember which episode <laughs> it was or how it happened. I just thing, remember man. the tuna fish. The tuna fish. Okay, that's really <laughs> cute. Okay, so that's done now. Going back to our topic, um, you know, I think that this is with this time that we're in where you can do your own thing. I'm doing my own podcast, my own talk show. Mm -hmm. You, know, I self published my own book. There's artists that are uh, producing and selling their music or their art online and they're promoting themselves and it's a whole new thing. How does that affect uh, all of you actors and TV personalities where you're, you know, you might be more traditional. Do you have, do you still have a, um, you know, someone who's getting you your work and who's, you know, you know, I think it's always, it's always, you're going to be out there getting your own work. In fact, I've been kind of actually lazy in the last few years. I think I, I got to the point where oh, I don't want to drive across town for an audition, you know, cause I could <laughs> send it in, send in an MP3 file. And, you know, yeah. it used to be that there were two markets, basically there was Los Angeles and there was New York and maybe Canada or something. But now, now the way that it works is that they've got these online sites where they want you to pay to play, pay to audition, which to me goes against everything we were ever taught. And yep. yeah, and so people can audition from anywhere. And so, you know, those online sites, you're paying for them. And then then you're up against you know, a thousand people as compared to maybe, you know, 10 people that we used to be maybe up against. But you know, it's just, it's a fact of life that the internet is out there. And so it makes it so that people can be really creative and entrepreneurial. And I think that it's a great thing that they're able to do that. And, you know, we just have to kind of hope that, you know, your talent works out as far as like legitimate acting roles and things like that. But I think it's great to, to get out there and have yourself being heard on a podcast or, or, uh, YouTube or any of those things. I'd like to yeah. hear what Steve's unexpected answer is. And then, but also I just kind of want to say, you know, there's so many people in so many ways to make an impact that I don't think it really hurts the industry, but I think it does affect it. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Steve, what was your unexpected answer? There are a lot of different ways that the internet has now allowed people to be seen and to be heard and to audition. The, the one thing I'd like to caution people about is be careful you know these reality shows these, these elimination shows it's about really having really good television so unless you're in the baking championship the like ashley <laughs> <laughs> then it's about the talent, the talent. excellent yeah. excellent uh segue thank you so much <laughs> 
So, um, <laughs> but, uh, but you're about the talent, I think is a point you're wanting to make. You help people to develop the business and the talent. And I think that's a really important work that you're doing in addition to your acting and I'd love to hear more about it. So what I need everyone to do is follow us over to the next lab. We're going to close this one out. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca, so Thank much you. for being a wonderful guest. Thank you for Great. being here and was sharing a lot of fun. your life with us. It and was more than 10 minutes, but that's okay. Oh, Oh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get, the, we'll get the best 10 minutes, maybe the tuna fish. Thing. No, I'm just kidding. We'll get the best 10 minutes and put it on iTunes and it still be true to true to form. But um, meanwhile, thank you, Margaret, for being here, Ashley and, and Stephen. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just saying time to hop over to um, the, the other stream that I have scheduled. And that's for post Ashley. The, post the URL. I, uh, I probably could do that. I don't that know how to do that. That makes it easy to hop. Does that make it easier to hop? Okay, so do I have to go over here and find it? I have to blab twice? I could do that. I could blab twice. <laughs> okay. My what? You just look up Ms. Meliz, right? And it comes up? Yeah, no, it's okay. I could still do it. So it's scheduled. And come on. Oh, I'm seeing your text mark back from Vlad. <laughs> what was that? See, Mark. This is your this is your job. You should be we should have you do this because I am okay. This is it. This is the one I want. Uh oh, I'm gonna open it because I went in there. No, it's not here. All right, that's, that's... I think somebody shared it. Somebody <laughs> already did it. I'm, blind, oh. I'm not sure which side I'm pointing to. <laughs> awesome. Okay, everybody go over there. I'm going. Okay. Yes, okay oh, nice. thank you this has been 10 minutes with tinsel t 10 <laughs> the, the, the. this has been my second glass of wine have a good night everybody <laughs> see you over and i only had one i know i only had one too <laughs> that's how much sure. okay hold on i'll do the music hold on um <laughs> here we go man this is a lot of technical stuff i, I know it's hard <laughs> to remember everything she's got all these different things like she's got meerkat and she's got uh, all those stuff going i've on. got it all thank you so much for coming to 10 minutes in tinseltown with ms meliz i'm melissa reyes and i think so much i thank you so much rebecca morstat oskowski for being with me tonight also known as Reba West and, um, and whatever and else. May and whatever else. Thank you so much for being here. It's been so much fun. Join us now to interview um, 10 Minutes in Tinseltown with Ashley Marie. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>